hello I'm going to show you how to create an X mesh in pattern uh, by creating points breaking solids and um, making surfaces first uh, we're going to create a new database for a 3d lock uh, choose uh, the name that you want for your file and click OK. Then uh, we're going to set the tolerance Basson model, uh, the model dimension 10, analysis code MCS Nastron, and the analysis type structural. Then we're going to import the prior solid file. Uh, the prior solid file you I did it in, in SolidWorks and just make sure that the object is in in model and source in parasolids then choose your file and click apply click OK and this is our model the model uh, that we are going to mesh uh, then we're going to groups modify and we're going to rename the group as x8 okay now uh, we're going to create points. Uh, we're going to create planes, but first we have to create points. Uh, make sure that the method is on extract, and you're going to choose the curves, these curves, and this to create your points. Uh, if, if the message if the message of uh, the picking points appears, just click uh, not. Then we're going to create planes uh, by three points. Just click three points as you want, and we're going to make another planes here and here okay now uh, we have these planes which we are going to use to break solid now you can select the solid and uh, select the the option of plane to break that solid. Choose your plane, click just for all, and that uh, solid broken, divided in two, and now we have two solids. Now we're going to break the two solids with the other two planes that we have. As you can see, uh, more uh, more times we do this more solids we have and now we're going uh, to delete the planes that are not useful for us remove and okay the every time you want to to create a to delete uh, something as planes um, objects like solid groups you need to go uh, to your group click and modify select uh, the element that you want to delete and click on remove that's the certain way to do it okay now we're going to 
to create more points to for our planes because we need to um, for this mesh x the for the x mesh x8 mesh uh, that is around uh, a circle a uh, circle uh, we need to verify that the solids that are around our cycle must be the most uh, symmetrical possible for uh, the mesh to to have better um, result files. We're going to uh, make more breaking planes here with these three points, then here with these three points, this. And this. Okay, as you can see, we have four planes that we're going to use for, uh, to break the new solids that we have. And we're going to choose the, the solids. and break with this plane make sure that you're breaking with planes and not with points because if you have the the action on points the, the, the software uh, will not detect that you're selecting the planes okay we're creating more solids here and here. By this plane, we are almost done of creating <laughs> new solids and breaking solids. We just need to create two more planes in this way and this way to have uh, as the, the zone all symmetrical. This and this. Now we're going to break the solid with these two planes. Okay, now we have all the solids that we want to create the X8 mesh. Now uh, we are going to delete all the solids and planes that we don't need by going to groups and removing the planes that are useful for us remove and that's it now we're going to refit all the solids uh, so that they become parameric solids and with that they can be isomesh we're going to select all the solids click apply and yes yes for all now we have all the solids uh, with uh, the curves, with blue curves, and as you can see, just one didn't um, refit as well as the others. So we are going to delete. Well, first we're going to change the background to see better 
what we're doing k is a cycle back and cycle back around here so as you can see this is the only solid that didn't refit as well as the others we're going to remove it and copy other to have our solid complete now we're going to create uh, a solid mirror first we're going to create a uh, plane with these three points now we're going to transform the solid the solid behind it click uh, select your point on your plane and the select that you want to copy now we have uh, our refitted solid complete okay now what we're going to do is to uh, create the mesh now that we have uh, our symmetric solid we're going to uh, that mesh x mesh or solid select x mesh ice mesh and x8 select all the solid and click apply as you can see the X8 mesh is created and now we're going to uh, verify the element boundaries just by clicking and apply then uh, making an equivalence of all click and apply with this uh, as you can see the software delete uh, a lot of notes notes that that just was uh, there and was were unnecessary okay so now we have uh, our mesh completed just by security, we're going to verify our element boundaries again and create a coordinate system. We're going to create a cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, this was a mistake. Uh, with these three points in this hole and in this hole with these three points. You're going to select this. Okay, we have our coordinate systems here and here. Now we're going to create fields for loads. Mm, click on smooth shaded and now go to fields, uh, create spatial and PCL function. Uh, enter scene pressure x8 for field name and select the coordinate one enter scene rt for scalar function and click apply and it was created now we're going to create the second for the other hole just uh, change the coordinate system and click apply now we have uh, two fields now we're going to make a uh, to create the pressure inside those holes with a uh, uh, type element uniform enter hex 8 for new set name uh, click on input data enter uh, 1000 under load vc set scale factor and in in select application region we're going to choose these four faces now click on add apply 
and that's that's how the pressure is represented. Now we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the same, but in the other in the other hole, we're going to create another pressure with its respective coordinate system in the same four faces. Click add and OK, apply, and that's the pressure. Okay, now we're going to create uh, the boundary conditions. We're going to uh, select these two faces, uh, enter the name as constraint, and input data, enter 0000 for translations, click OK. Then select application region, click the surface or face you can, and select these two faces. By this, the the software will understand that this element will not move uh, on this on these faces. We'll have translation zero and x, y, and c. Okay, now we're going to create an isotropic material and. Enter aluminium uh, for material name on input properties. Enter the properties as you want. Click OK and apply. Now we create. We have created the uh, isotropic material. Now we're going to create the solid with this material. Select the material, aluminium. Click OK. And for the application region, we're going to select all the solid, click Add, and OK. Now we have uh, created our solid with the properties of uh, aluminium. OK, now we can um, just check if all the forces and constraints are there. Click cancel. Now we can run our analysis. Uh, selecting uh, the model as analysis deck. If you have no license to uh, make Nastran run the analysis as its own. Now we're going to open Nastran and select and our folder the PDF file and click run so an F06 file it's going to be created in our folder um, we're going to check it with notepad and if you find the word fatal, it means that you have an error. If it doesn't there, if it isn't there, we can check our results. First, we're going to attach the XDV file that Nastron gave us to pattern in select result file. Attach it, OK. And apply. Now we have that our results file. Then we're going to create a, a deformation uh, with displacement transnational and click OK. Then we're going to display attribute, show on the form and show title. Uh, you must uncheck this then we're going to, uh, to click the icon plot erase and click erase under geometry then click OK and this is the solid deform by uh, the pressures that we put that we have plotted now we're going to create a fringe 
when selecting a stress tensor and bond misses and click apply and as you can see here are the the stress tensor that the pressure uh, create and he here's the sound with more uh, with more pressure and with more stress in our double ear okay and that's all sorry for my English and goodbye just close the file and that's it.